This is a 24-port structured media panel, which consists of four Category 5 e-boards, each with six ports. The center module is your telephone line distribution module. The telephone line distribution module allows you to route up to four telephone numbers throughout the house. This is the security system punch down, which allows you to divert one pair of incoming phone lines to the security system. It enables the security system to override off-hook telephones, and it allows the security system to seize a phone line. This is the security system interface that connects to the security system. This is the auxiliary disconnect outlet. It bridges incoming lines to the rest of the board by connecting to the test port. This is the test port. It lets you test incoming lines from the demarcation point. It bridges the incoming lines to the rest of the board by connecting to the ADO port. This is the incoming telephone service punch down. And it is where you punch down the phone lines from the demarcation point. These are your telephone ports. They provide four line service to eight ports. These are line one through four. They provide two line phone service to four ports. Line one is the primary phone line. Line four or line three is the secondary phone line respectively. Two line service to four ports. Line two is the primary phone line. Line one, line four, or line three is the secondary phone line respectively. Two line phone service to two ports. Line three is the primary phone line. Line four is the secondary phone line. Two line service to one port. Line four is the primary phone line and line one is the secondary phone line. This is the category 5E telephone module. It patches your home network through the structured media center. It has six RJ45 jacks for telephone line distribution modules patch connections with each jack corresponding to a 110 style IDC connector. One module can handle up to six runs and can be daisy chained for multiple modules. Place the structured media panel into the SMC. Holding securely, snap down the push pins, securing it into place. Separate your category 5E cables by phone and data. In this case, because we have 24 cables, we are going to separate them into groups of 12. This separation allows us to then route each cable individually, making sure we know which cable we are dealing with by its label. We will then dress the cable, judging for cable length, before we cut the cable off. Always leave a little extra. You can push it up into the wall when the job is complete. Carefully measure out the length of wire Cut off the end and make sure you leave enough room to strip the outer jacket. This tool is a category cable outer jacket stripper. You simply clamp the wire into the tool, rotate the tool around the wire two to three times, once in reverse, and then remove the tool. This scores the outer jacket of the cable. Simply take the cable and pull the jacket away. To remove the nylon runner, simply cut it away using your cable cutters and discard it. Separate your category cable pairs out by color. Start with your blue pair, then the orange, the green, and the brown. If you press the cable in the bottom of the troughs between the IDC and the jacks, it will help you place the cable and it makes for a neat appearance once the wires are all punched down. After separating your pairs, follow the color coding on the insulation displacement connection towers. While untwisting the wires slightly near the jacket, force the wires over the tower so that the top wire is the blue wire with the white stripe and the bottom is the solid blue wire. Continue down in the same fashion with the orange, green, and brown wires. Using the Leviton punch-down tool, punch down the individual wires into the IDC. Ensure that the cut side of the punch down tool is facing the side of the conductor you want to remove. Then push firmly. In order to complete the punch down, you will punch down each individual conductor. Remove the spare wire. Repeat this process for the remaining 23 wires.
This is the security connector on your telephone line distribution module. From your incoming phone line, you can select which number your panel uses. Simply wire your selected pair of CAT5e wires from the phone system through the IDC. The top two input are the ins and the bottom are the outs. You route your wires through the upper IDC and then bring them down to the from demarcation IDC. Your security alarm panel must be plugged into the security jack. This will continue the phone number from the alarm panel back through the telephone line distribution module. Once you have selected your phone line, loop the wired pair through the IDC with the white wire on top and blue on the bottom and run them down through the demarcation IDC. Punch these wires down and cut the loop through the security IDC and extra wire. Route your remaining three phone lines through the from demarcation IDC and punch them down. If there is no alarm panel currently installed, insert the shorting plug. This will route your line from the IDC back through the in from DMARC IDC. You will need to test all 24 jacks of your telephone line distribution module. Using a Type 3 meter for the Category 5 cable, test all 24 of your jacks, ensuring they all pass. If one fails, you will need to troubleshoot both ends of the wire to find the failed jack. Now patch your phone lines to the telephone line distribution module. Only patch specific rooms for specific numbers.